Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the Stags Leap District in Napa. I'm here at Pine Ridge Vineyards with Vineyard Manager of uh, 15 plus years, Gustavo Avina, who's been doing a great job here. Uh, recently, he has adapted a new, some new technology into the vineyard within the last, what, three years? Three or four years. Three or four years. Can you, uh, can you share with us about that? Sure. Uh, we have a combination of some new technology that we are using in the vineyards. Like right here, we can see that Thule Simpsons, which is a sensor that reads evapotranspiration of the vines. And it pretty much tells me how much water the vine used and how much water I had to apply back. So I have to check those every day or I have a receiving email every week that tells me about that, but also on my phone and my computer. I can take a look in the system and see if that is telling me that I need to apply any water or not. And the other system that we use is the weather stations, ranch systems, weather stations, which there's another extra tool that we have in the vineyard. It, that one tells me about temperature in the vineyard, wind speed, wind direction, soil moisture, which is very important for us. So I combine both systems to determine my irrigations plus my own walking to the vineyards. After I see all those numbers from those new devices that we have in the vineyards, I go to the vineyard and walk and see if the vine is really telling me that it is water, and then I take my decision from there. The maintenance of the equipment is minimum, like Thule sensors here, for example. It needs to be clean around the sensors, no vines overgrowing over because that may interfere with the readings and I believe one of those systems cover about 10 acres we don't go to 10 acres we have it in smaller pieces so that's uh, more accurate readings of the sensors great now um, you've uh, you've incorporated this technology for for three years now and how do you feel of is it was it worth the investment it really does. One of the things that I found after we started using the system is, is that uh, we save, I will say, 50% or more in water. We don't irrigate as much as, as much as we used to do in the past. And we find like uh, the quality of the grace really improved, especially in one vineyard where we have our combination of both systems, Thule sensors, run systems with aromatic irrigations where we can irrigate at day, at night, or at any moment that we want. We found that after we started using the systems, it's the most beautiful grapes that we can harvest from our company. Those devices, they pay themselves pretty soon. Great, great. Now, it's, I, I think a lot of growers are hesitant to adapting certain technologies just because they, you know, it's, 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 it's a little, it's new stuff, you're, you're getting more digital and, and more data can be confusing. But I think, Gustavo, you're talking about how you still make your walks through the vineyard, you're checking things, and so you have a, a good balance of, of checking things out, you know, and making sure everything's good by you know visually but you also have a good balance with that and relying on the technology and that's definitely something that the growers should look into read more about growers adapting new technology to increase their vineyard efficiency in American Vineyard magazine I'm Matthew Malcolm CaliforniaAgnet.com